Hey PSL fans, welcome to a new transfer show. There was another transfer show with the latest PSL rumors and PSL stories throughout the PSL. If you like the show, please comment, subscribe, and let's get talking about the show so I can do more stories if you guys are interested. Without further ado, let the 25th of April, Pula Eckstein posted a cryptic message on his social media saying goodbye. Later on that day, articles broke that Eckstein's contract had been terminated by Kaiser Chiefs. The media and Kaiser Chiefs painted out Eckstein as a money-hungry player who wouldn't and couldn't sit down to talk about his future and his club. He allegedly had outrageous demands for player wages. But is there any truth to these articles? Here listen to Pule Eckstein's side of the truth. Horse's mouth now. We're joined now live on the line by Pule Hendrik Eckstein. Mm, all right. And uh, what kind of reception have you got from the Kaiser Chiefs fans? I suppose from social media, they would have sent you messages. And um, face to face, they would have seen you today. Uh, what kind of mood do you think they are in? All right, and then um, of course the most important thing is for us to find out exactly what led to the moment where the contract was terminated. What exactly happened? Uh, when did talks start about you extending the contract, and what led to the breakdown in talks? Mm. Mm. All right, and then for you, you would then be able to confirm to us that the breakdown in communication was about the length of the contract that they were offering, or was it about the amount, or was it about game time? It was the amount. So can you confirm to us that it was were they offering you something lower? Uh, was there a counter offer elsewhere other than Chiefs where the amount was significantly higher? Mm. Mm. All right, and then when you talk about the amounts as well, um, you are mentioning the fact that the club was not willing to meet you halfway. Um, were you genuinely interested in continuing for as long as the offer that was provided to you monetarily was at least uh, in the range that you were looking for with your team and the agent? Mm, all right, and then of course there was a reality that at some point um, that you were a at some point this season an important part of Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, you could easily play four matches back to back, and that actually happened at some point this season. And then there was a point where the communication between you and the and, and the and the team, like you're mentioning now, broke down, and then you were not being played. Uh, did you make any request to the club uh, to say that in the meantime, uh, do not play me whilst we are talking about this? Was this the club's decision not to play you whilst you are talking about the contract? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. 
And of course, did you then at that point, uh, were you then able to get any word from Coach Middendorp um, of, as to whether or not he's been given any instruction uh, to say that you shouldn't play in the period when you are refusing to sign this contract? Hmm. Mm, all right, so he confirmed to you that, uh, the coach confirmed to you that he wanted to play you. However, um, unfortunately, the circumstances within the team uh, did not allow him to play you. Yeah, obviously. Mm. 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 Mm, all right. Um, Pule, we appreciate you speaking to us. Uh, and before we let you go, um, we'd like to speak to you for the whole hour. However, time is not on our side. Before we let you go, um, what is the next step um, for you? Um, any clubs in contact, um, overseas offers? What is the next thing for you now? Does that mean that you can always go back to Chiefs as well since you don't have an offer?